I'm trying to fix a problem on a very popular item on Amazon, uh, an egg cooker. Um, it's actually a pretty good device, pretty simple. Um, put some water in here, hit the button, self timer, great. The problem is that the buzzer is so loud, it's really annoying, drives my dogs crazy. Um, Underneath, you flip the unit over, um, remove this little sticker, and you'll expose one single nut. I've taken it off already. Um, it's on this threaded part here. I can show it again when I put it back together. Take that one off, one nut off, split the unit in half. Um, it'll come right apart after that. Uh, I've already got it partially disassembled. And this is the, the buzzer that's making all the noise. Again, I've, I've disassembled it somewhat. It's held in its place with two screws. I'll show you again when it's all put back together. There it is. Um, you don't need to disassemble it more than that one um, nut underneath. And then the buzzer itself is held in with two very small Phillips head screws. Okay. The issue is this is not a regular speaker. This is a piezo buzzer. Um, just covering this hole, it will mute it some, but it really doesn't do the job um, because a piezo buzzer works unlike uh, a regular speaker. You can't just puncture it uh, or put a piece of tape over it and, and really muffle it. It works off of vibration. So you have to try to stop it from vibrating. So my plan is going to be to um, take some hot glue, hot, put some hot glue in here, enough to, to get it to stick to the, the top and to the buzzer itself and stop it from vibrating so much and hopefully it will make less noise. Um, I still want it to buzz. I could just snip one of the wires and disable it or swap it out, but I want it to still buzz, I just don't want it to be as loud. Um, so I will come back after I, I think I need to expand one of these holes here. So I'll break this plastic off so I can make this hole a little bit bigger, inject some hot glue in there, let it dry, and then give it a test. So I'll be right back. Okay, I took just a small screwdriver and just made this opening bigger so I can get the glue in there. Um, I'm not sure I can hold the camera and glue it at the same time. Um, but basically I'll take some high temp um, glue, try to see if I can do both at once, and just inject a bunch of hot glue in there. Just like so. And that's it. So I basically just dumped a bunch of hot glue into the into the buzzer. I have no idea if this is gonna work or if I just damaged it beyond repair. I can trim it up after it dries. Um, hopefully this will stop the unit from from vibrating. I'm, I've hopefully glued the diaphragm to the casing itself. The piezo buzzer will use the casing for uh, amplification as well. So it's really, I'm finding it challenging to kind of silence this thing. Um, we'll let this dry up and then we'll give it a test. So I'll pause it up and fill it up with some water and see how we go. Okay, I think I gave it enough time. Cleaned it up a little bit with my finger before it dried up. It's, it's pretty dry now. Added a little bit of water and we'll give it a test run. Um, it shouldn't take more than a minute or so for this to evaporate this water enough to, um, to set it off. So I'll let this cook up a bit and we'll see if it's gotten any quieter or if I've completely damaged it. So. I'll come back once it's boiling, but pretty much that's what it's looked like now. I may have to add a 
just for safe measures, a piece of reflective tape on top. I don't think it will do any harm. I'm guessing this plate gets fairly hot once, once it's cranking, so I'll come back. Um, a little word of caution, I would put the top back on while you're testing because without it, it spits boiling water all over you. So um, I'm thinking this thing is getting ready to probably sound any second now, assuming it's not shot, which it might be, but we'll see. Well, it's getting pretty low, so it may have melted it. Yeah, my guess is it might be damaged. That's my guess. Yeah, there's the there's the buzzer. It it did damage it, so Oh wait. And there you go. Much, much less noise. I think I can live with this. All right, that worked. I'm happy with that. So you still get your buzzer. Um, it's just nowhere near as loud. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to hear it once I put the cover back on, but I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I screwed it back down. There it is in place. Again, I'm not sure of two things. Um, one, whether or not you're going to be able to hear it at all once I put this back together. And two, um, whether or not this glue will melt once we um, reapply. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again, and we'll come back. Okay, so here we go again. It's boiling off the water. Let's see if we'll be able to hear it. I didn't put it all back together yet. Put the top on. Perfect. Much less noise. You can live with it now. To me, it's just perfect. I'll check it again and see if the glue is melted. Well, it looks like it held up really well. Um, didn't melt at all, which is good. Um, for me, this makes this product usable again. Uh, it was really super loud before. Um, so, a couple of minutes and you can be using the product without waking uh, the neighbors or the dead. Hope this helps someone. I'm back. I just thought I'd give you the sizes. Um, it's a seven millimeter. Uh, just be careful when you take this back, there is a little um, plastic washer that will fall out. So um, just be prepared and catch it in your hand. Um, once you get it unscrewed and turned over and you should be fine seven millimeter you don't need 